Hello, welcome back to Feast of Pilgrims. We've uh, just arrived at the cathedral. And uh, gonna try and. Is that someone. Oh, that's the sermon. So, is that someone who heard me? Holy water. Oh, I wonder what that's good for. Oh, no shadows there. So the only shadows in this whole section is this. <laughs> well, he's going to come here, isn't he? He's going to walk right into me. Oblivious. That's good. I am not going to complain. I guess, I'm guessing he goes around in a loop. Oh, hello. Actually, I can go up there. Oh, I didn't even see the staircase. This is a very good shadow to hide in. So there's the staircase up. So I probably don't need the rope. Oh, there's not even a door. Alright, the staircase up is the only way to go. Ha! That's what I think of stair your staircase. Go up further. Sure, why not? Oh, when goest thou? Tis only me. Thou needest not sound the alarm. Nay, brother, the alarm is reserved for the security of our reliquary. Any other intruders are to be dealt with ourselves, for the Ira doth not wish the sermon interrupted. I would be appalled were I to cause such an interruption. I shall return to my duties, then. All novices should be attending the sermon. Tis the pilgrim's feast, my good lad. Prithee tell me the reason for thine absence. Just to take some fresh air. Uh, Brother Devon hath made me to clean his vile bucket again, and I could not breathe. <laughs> Didst he? <laughs> Verily. A stroll in the garden should fare thee well. Vigilance is our shield. Well, I didn't recognize the voice of that hammer, but the novice was uh, Yandros, I believe. Now, where are they coming? Are they coming in here or not? Or just walking the garden? This looks like it's supposed to connect to somewhere, but uh, couldn't exactly say where. Hmm. Don't think getting on top of the tree is uh, feasible. I'm going to try it just for.
Three has a very weird hitbox. Surely not intended. So they both went in there. I don't know if they're coming out again. Oh, yes they are. If I leave them to that for the moment, that'll take me... I can get out further north or east from there, but where does this take me? That's the sermon. Oh, that's just this room. Alright. There is nothing more in there. North or east? Come closer. And what's thy life for this thief? What? How the hell did you see me? Thou shalt bleed yet, villain. Bring thine arms to my aid. <sighs> Sigh. Well, he didn't kill me. I suppose that's something. But now he's run off to get other people. Plus side, he's gonna be hunting for me down there for a bit. Ah, bloody floors. Bread. Hit point. Brother Gormley, I do understand your fears. Not only does this heretic leave the order, but takes all his infernal gadgetry with him and starts a new one right next door. However, I do think you worry over much. I say it's better to be rid of this one. After all, at least now we need not worry about him blowing anyone else up with his crazed inventions. It is only a matter of time. This so-called mechanist order is but a passing fad, a blink in a lifetime, a drop in a river. Nothing to be afraid of. Karras will burn out soon, and the other heretics he's lured will seek to return. Brother Duncan. Novice, not our other angry hammer friend. That's footsteps above me, I guess. There's a door there. We've got an alarm in here as well. Oh, that's right, the reliquary was in the library. Uh, with some kind of alarm that we mentioned. in the briefing, but it says an alarm like something and I can't remember what. Oh, yeah. See what we can see while, while the coast appears to be clear. So I 
like some some of important stuff. Brother Devon, the chalice is to be locked away in the reliquary. Have the map sent up to the restricted section for further study by the priests. Periscope control. Oh, I see. So the little uh, shooting periscopes like in Crags Cliffs. Yeah, that's... Uh... Oh, hello. Yes, armor thyself against their blandishments. Their bland blandishments. Hmm. No, I don't want to waste two wood arrows, but. Wow. Did you notice that one? I made the jump, I didn't actually uh, get it wrong. I should have shut the door behind me. Never mind. Bow and arrow. So many now no Who What's goes up? there? Who said that? No one. Those are high poly arches, that's uh, extravagance. Mm -hmm. These hammer are rich. So that's a normal arch, four polys. These are like eight. Who goes there? Who said that? All is quiet now. Here's someone yelling, but I don't know if that's just the sermon or what. Probably. Don't know exactly where this archer goes. But, uh... Oh shit. Bring thine arms to my aid. Who made that noise? Needs must I calm my nerves. Someone running up this wooden staircase. My brothers, come strengthen thy beleaguered comrade. Oh dear. There's someone stuck on this staircase too. Bring thine arms to my aid. Right, I've just saved. I'm gonna go down. To see what's going on. I'm beset. He's stuck, isn't he? He's quite stuck. Bring thine arms to my aid. Who made that noise? <laughs> Thy trickery shall not last. There.
Oh, uh, whatever. I've done it now. Might as well stick with it. Presumably this is the restricted section where the maps can be found. Nope, this is the outside. Of uh, people firing arrows at us. Ah, tile floors everywhere. Tile. Shit. Shit. Nope, don't be out there. Wait, are you stuck in the table? No, he's not stuck. You come and spy me out. I spied one who made the escape trip. <coughs> God, hemorrhoids get faster doors. Well, he's gone running off somewhere, probably to alert another million guards. Chase wild geese over there, I will see what I can find of value in here. Warning, do not enter when periscopes are operational. See Brother Devon for access to the reliquary. Why right, turn the periscopes off? Periscope's are off. That was Devon's office key. And that's not going to be pickable, right? Yeah, we're going to need to find Brother Devon himself in order to get in. At least now we know where it is. It's in kind of the northwestern end. And those alarm telescopes have been turned off. So that's the good news, we know where we're going for our primary objective. Bad news is, it's a dead end. We're gonna go back out here where... Ruckus. What's happening? I am merely your imagination. No, hiding shall not save me, but knocking thou on the heads shallst. Well, I guess a waste of a martyr, but never mind. Warning, do not enter when... You're not Brother Devon, are you? You don't have a key on you? No. Do you enter when periscopes are operational and they are turned off? Alright. Wait, 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 wait. There was a key on the, uh, on his desk, right? Oh, it's his office key. 
It's not the same key, I'm sure, right? The reliquary key is going to be separate. Yeah. Father Ira, by all appearance, the map doth appear to be authentic. We recommend sending for Brother Armin to authenticate it further. Should it be verified soon, we could make for the tomb by spring. Tis a shame nobody thought to copy old Brother Abel's notes before he left. Prayerfully, Father Xavier. Oh, this is the uh, map I need to get for my uh, objective. Hammerite Pilgrimage Map. Um, yeah, Pilgrimage Maps. Oh, we've still got uh, these two optional ones to do afterwards. He always sounds like he's about to, I don't know, about to vomit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what's the lot down there? Some big gears, levers, counterweights. It's like a mining machine. Maybe the mechanist inventor is down there somewhere. Big hole in the bell tower. Alright, so I don't need to go in there. I don't think there's anywhere else I can go at that level, which means my only way forward is out here. More tile floor. More lack of good darkness. Well, I guess I can lean out. I know there's someone who patrols down here, because he heard me before. There's a ladder up there on the bookshelf. Maybe that's my where I should head for. <sighs> Would you like to have a destination in mind before I head out a door so I'm not completely at a loss? Nothing under here, is there? More footsteps. So two people down here. Or is it the same one? Can't be the same guy. Or maybe it is, maybe there's a circular path. I thought he'd gone over there and was standing, but I guess if there's a circular path that it will be the same fella. Yeah, yeah. Alright, that's not so bad. Circular route is uh, much less fraught. There is somebody up that way, though. Okay, where am I going to stand? Here, I guess. <laughs> Window to the south? Oh, it's down here where the machine is. And that fellow. Oh, I can't turn it on. Shame. Oh, it's a crane, okay. Well, 
Wow, this place is big. Look, there's like multiple floors down there. Hello? Show thyself. Thou hast ranged weaponry. Thou gets to sleep. Those be the rules. I do not make the rules. Thinketh not that I fail to see thee defacing my posters. Pursuit of knowledge is among the highest of orders we are given by the Builder himself. If thou canst not control thy childish games, thou else may find thyself barred from this library. Brother Devon. Brother Kevil, worry not about blessing the grave with cheese at midnight as part of your duties. There is no ghost of Brother Burns, the graveyard keeper from the time of the Great Catastrophe. Tis a traditional hazing joke our less pious brethren play on newcomers to the cathedral. Do not give us a second thought, Brother Embry. Bless the grave of Brother Burns with cheese. Okay. Probably just means I can find some cheese in the graveyard, but if I have some cheese and there's grave labelled Brother Burns or something, then uh, I might try that. Alright, I don't want to be in here just yet because I want to finish, finish looking around out here. And we're looking what, uh, southeast, yeah. So that's a whole part of town I've not been to. What is going on up there? This is the bell. This is the uh, bell tower, I think. Oh, hello. You don't look so healthy. I don't feel so healthy. Fail mantle, and I'm one hit point now. What has happened here? A blood-soaked letter to Devon. So this is Brother Devon. D. It would seem that you were right. They were certainly searching high and low for me in Syric and Bone, but they have indeed turned their gaze north now. I've heard my name whispered in taverns late at night, and have seen odd, cloaked men skulking about Lampfire Hills. Fortunately, nobody knows me by that name here, but it's only a matter of time. My former colleagues are a cowardly sort, but they've got all the wealth of the Elder Regions at their disposal. We need to locate the cylinder. And soon. I found another useful recipe from that Galpernian witch. Did you know that you can actually brew your own dispersal concoctions? No more scrolls from the majors. Imagine how much money could be saved. I'm sending it along. Keep it somewhere safe. I've got a plan but won't write it here. Let's meet, meet next week. Same time, same place. B. Um, so what's this? Reliquary key. All right. Uh, Judging by your friend here, I don't believe I will. This fool? He died by his own hand. Backfired spell. Ill prepared to use old magics. Now I'm trapped in here. 
What was the priest after? He wanted the location of an ancient record inscribed in stone long ago. Woefully out of his reach, even if I would have caught him the chance to tell him where it is. I see. And what will you do for me if I help you? I'm no fool. I know you need incentive. So what is it you desire? Revenge? Love, perhaps? No. You seem more practical than that. Perhaps hold humanitarian. This is a Hellfire Ruby, created many millennia ago in my world. Many souls have been used to create it. You won't find anything like it on this plane. Free me, and it's yours. So, you will just give it away. Once back on my plane, I could find more. It means little to me. And how do I free you? You'll need a scroll of dispersal. If you don't have one, you can also make a potion of similar effect. This poor wretch likely has a recipe for such things lying around in here. Somewhere. He had a potion on him. Got destroyed when the fool blew himself up. I'll see what I can find. The objectives. Optional, get the Hellfire Ruby. Alright. Uh... Oh, I can't go up. This is up. Okay, it's right there. Why can't I just get it from here? Can I mantle this force field? No, good. <laughs> that would be a fun exploit. Alright. Uh... Mr. Devon. Well, so my primary objective was a little reliquary I can now deal with without delving any further into the cathedral if I wanted to. That's a non door, yeah. So. Scroll of dispersible or a recipe or something. Well. This is here. There's a, there's a fellow wandering around that I'd much rather we're not wandering around. Uh, Come on, Colonel. Maybe old, but uh, missing three inches distance twice in a row? You're getting feeble. Lore, the rich novice and the poor novice. Long, all right. One day, a rich novice and a poor novice were traveling together to the tomb of Elden, lord and saint of the shining sun. At length, they came to a mountain pass north of Sarek. There, beside the road, laid an old beggar, groaning and weeping bitterly. The beggar turned to the rich novice. Please, sir, he cried, my leg is broken. I hunger and thirst. Have mercy on an old man. The rich novice beheld that the beggar was lame and that he had mottled and leprous flesh. He did not wish to waste his rations on a man who would soon die, nor did he wish to dirty his golden cup with the lips of an unclean wastrel. I beg your pardon, brother, said the rich novice, but I did not bring any food nor drink with me this day, and he turned aside. The beggar turned to the poor novice. Please have mercy on me, young man, he cried. Will you help me? The poor novice was filled with compassion. He knelt beside the old man, beholding his crippled limb and rotting flesh. Old man, I do not have much in way of food or drink, said he, but what I do have you are most welcome to. The rich novice looked on in amazement as the poor novice gave all the food he had. He also gave him his own cup, humble clay that it was, to drink from. The rich novice scoffed, Those are all your rations. Who is this old man to you? An old man, said the poor novice, wrapping his cloak around the beggar's shoulders. I am young and able. I can fetch more. I'll go without. He is old and lame. Suddenly the beggar stood up straight and removed the poor novice's ragged cloak. 
His skin was clean, his hair was white as snow, and his eyes flashed like the sun. Both novices fell on their faces. My lord builder, cried the rich novice, had I known it was you, I would have given you everything. He scrambled with his pack and tossed his rations and golden cup at the feet of the lord. Is it not written? The builder said in a voice like thunder. Care for the needy, the sick, and the destitute, as you would care for me. I did not know you, my lord, the rich novice cried. I am afraid you never did, said the builder. The rich novice's skin turned muffled and leprous. His limbs grew feeble and his fine robes turned to rags. He limped away, weeping and gnashing his teeth. The builder turned to the poor novice. My son, rise up. Do not be afraid. The poor novice rose. What is your name? Brother Resto, my lord. Young Resto, the builder said. You gave all that you had to bring comfort to a dying man. You have my tenants written on your heart and carry my name with honour. For that you will be blessed. He lifted the novice's cup of clay. This chalice is now blessed. All men who drink of it shall be strong of spirit and have renewed strength. Guard it well. I will, my lord, wept Resto with joy. And there Resto built a shrine for the builders faithful, a holy place where all pilgrims could drink of the chalice and find rest. Wait, does that say... You know, not that I believe in all this hammerite nonsense, but... Uh, all who drink of the chalice shall be strong of spirit and have renewed strength. Well, I could really, really use that right now. Uh, let's hope it works the way, I, <laughs> the way it sounds like it works. Uh, there's no reason to climb these ladders, is there? No books sticking out of the shelves for amusement or anything. Probably not. What about stuff on top of the shelves, though? Nothing. I'll take that. Yeah, what's this? Library rules. One, no food, no drink. No singing, quiet humming only. No talking above a whisper. No jokes, laughter, nor damnable silliness. No novices in the restricted section. Reliquary access off limits to all except priests. Direct all inquiries to Brother Devon. Brother Devon enjoyeth the keen sting of a paddle upon his backside. Uh, somebody has been defacing Brother Devon's uh, posters indeed. I was tramping around and there's still someone around. Upstairs, I believe. Oh no, through there. Well, reliquary, first of all. Seems to me the uh, preferable course of approach just now. Uh, was it up here or was this the roof? This is the roof, but also the reliquary. Well, not the roof, that's just the balcony, I guess. Reliquary key! What do we have? That's a very pagan looking crystal. Chalice! So this is the chalice. Made of humble clay. I wonder if the stories are true. Well, I can't use it, unfortunately. So it's a uh, ability to heal me seems uh, rather suspect right now. What a pity. Because I have no badge for any kind of error anymore. Alrighty. Very 
dark. Well, that's dark enough for, uh... Thankfully, there's not many people in the library. Perhaps just this one. Oh, above me, maybe. That, oh, they're invisible. Hmm. No, more than one. Sis. This novice. Been here. All right, that's the roof out there. Okay. There's Mr. Firebrand. Uh, well, I mean, we could just get the loot goal and finish. Uh, it's probably worth checking out how far away we are from it. Somewhere here. 1936. Uh, still 21. Well, 2,000 and a bit. Tis a vexing menace. How am I to study with Brother Devon's constant spying? In what vice doth he mean to snare me? I suspect him still wroth over my impersonation in the mess hall last month, though he's kept close watch ever since. Especially when I seek a book on the lower floor below his office. If ever I find myself there, he is not far behind, searching the shelves also. But he does not take the time to read any titles. There is something over there he doth not wish me to find. Okay, so that must be where he keeps the recipe. Oh, is this also the Oh, well, this is the garden. I did not even notice this window at all. I came out that door and looked everywhere but right ahead of me. So, uh, lower floor below Devon's office. Now, Devon's office was... Um... Hello. Oh, that's all right. That's up there. Okay. I don't know where. I don't remember where Devon's office was. Somewhere in the library. It's a non-door. Okay. Rules. Brother Devon doth partake in the eating of undergarments. Oh, Brother Devon doth uh, summon spirits and uh, succumb to death. Did I check this table? Brother Gormley, I do understand your fears. Oh yes, I read that one. Brother Gormley, I read that one already. I don't know why I'm reading it again. Non-doors. <sighs> right, maybe that's the way to... in peace. Oh, were well, you the one upstairs? You must have heard me clank slightly on the disgusting tile floor. 
Fine. Alright, this is Brother Devon's office. So, stacks below his office, alright. Quiet, you rats. Yeah, they check that. So... Is the recipe somewhere here, then? Aha! Aha! Oh, it's not a recipe. This is, uh... Brother Devon's secret, uh... Gambling... Tiny room. So, uh, was that note something I had here? Oh, I can look at them snap. Nice, yes, that's just, that's that tomb. And the mission and Nilbog is where you go in Godbreaker. This could turn out to be quite the adventure someday. Mm hmm, indeed. Uh, and I have, I have, I played Godbreaker, I've recorded it. Uh, it just needs. Uh, there was some troubles editing it, so I no, haven't yet got to uploading it. So, uh, the, in terms of the recipe, potion recipe then, that was a complete dead end. Uh, although, what I'm guessing now is that, well that's how I got in, isn't it? Um, those mages we found, well not the mages, the, this tower here, with the strange chamber and the mis mis mysterious note, will be relevant, um, for making that potion. This is a dead end, right? goes out to the bell tower. This goes out to the garden. Wait. That's the garden on the west. This looks like a special. Oh, okay, that's the bell tower. This is the garden. So that looked like the garden to me, but no, that's the garden. All right. I suppose. I'm just wondering if there's anywhere else I can go here because there's this potion recipe we're supposed to be able to find for this optional objective. I'm so lost in this enormous library. That's the stairs up, right? That's the stairs that came. That connects out to the garden. And this goes up to, yeah, the reliquary. All right, so that's at the eastern end of the library. It's also another window out to the rooftop. So I really need to search these for potion recipes, it seems very tedious without any kind of 
clue. Let's see if other Devon's note actually, just in case. Yeah, did you find another useful recipe? I'm sending it along, keep it somewhere safe, but uh, I don't know where. Brother Devon doth keep the company of eight beasts. This is the western end of the library. I think that's the entire extent of the library. Don't quite know why I got so turned about in here, but uh Uh, Brother Devon, knowest I thou to be mindful of security, but needst I remind thee of the complaints we hath received? Thy disgusting habit of releasing defections into that vile bucket and slopping it out thy window to the streets below is not only unsanitary, but ill-befitting of the builder's children. It is quite expected for one to pause from daily function in pursuit of one's bowels. Surely the books content to themselves for a few minutes, only whilst thou seekest the privy? Father Ira. And that's going to be thrown in the bucket too. Is there anything else hidden in his office? Switches or... I mean... Oh, hello. Indeed there is. Well, well, well. A letter to B. B. I'm not surprised at all. Those fools back in bone should like, shook like leaves when I showed them the plan. Not much different than her disciples in Throve, I'm afraid. They like the pageantry of the rituals, but they're just bored nobles playing dress up once a month and we're well rid of them. Since your assets are out of reach at the moment, funding is coming along. Gambling has been profitable. The lesser priests are all too keen to risk their gold combating the monotonous boredom of this place. If Ira ever finds out, I'll have to change cities again. Ill is willing, we won't need to keep this up much longer. Soon I'll have enough saved to charter a team if necessary. Tonight is the night I'll be putting that which is in Ain's scribblings to the test. The others praised my humility when I volunteered myself as bell ringer for the feast. A task suited for novices. What fools. The bell tower is the perfect location to perform the summoning. Close enough to keep an eye out for interruptions, far enough away to not arouse suspicion from the others. All the other hammers will be busy listening to Ira while I commune with a far being far older and wiser. We may not be the ones to put her back together again, brother, but at least we'll begin the search. D. Interesting. Concoction of dispersal recipe. Pione, if you're not sure, you can cast a spell of dispersal. You're better off not messing with these kind of magics at all, but as your friend I can't let you perish, so to dispersal concoction is all this world and never fails, and the best part is that any harlot can cook it. You don't even need to be a witch. Before you ask, no, you don't need to gather them ingredients under the full moon. That's a pile of doo-doo. Gather them and cook them whenever, it doesn't matter. You're going to need four things. First, you need some monka mash. Any part of the monka will do, but I like taking the buttocks because they're soft. Second, crush a magma crystal. They're easy to get, I get mine at the bazaar. Third, you're gonna need baby cray juice. This likely be your biggest trouble. Them crazies don't like when you take their babies from them, so try not to get your head snipped. Fourth and final, some good old black grease. Don't Doesn't matter where you get it. Mix all that in a cup, and there you go. Take me next time we bathe under the red moon. Monka mash. Monka, probably a dialect for monkey. Likely needs to be ground up. Magma crystal, commonly used by the Orientals. Where they are, there is almost guaranteed to be one. Baby cray juice, must be a crayman fetus. Kokubu's soap factory is known to use crays in their organic products. Black grease, oil, often used for antenna maintenance. Mixing in a cup. The wizard living west of the church should have the appropriate tools. Aha. That's now the mysterious note. Now makes sense. Alrighty, we have... We have a plan. And I think, apart from coming back for the uh, summoning, I think that means we're done in here now. Uh, 
and, well, we know where a wood chipper is. Um, we have a magma crystal and a monkey head. We don't have grease and we don't have the crayman fetus, baby cray. But, uh, I thought I saw something shiny. Nope. But we can find them, I guess, elsewhere in the city. Antenna grease, cockaboos, soap factory is where we should find the craze. Antenna grease. Yeah, I don't know, somewhere in here maybe. And Tuffleshanks, of course, has the uh, grinder. Well, the, um, the pincer. The, the, what's it called? Wood chipper. Why is that name always? Uh... And that's the mortal pestle. That's the mix here. Uh... All right, well, we have a plan now to uh, deal. Remember, I have not been in that building either. A plan now to, oh, too high. We'll get to the garden. All right. We have a plan now to uh, get the Hellfire Ruby. So finally, uh, things are making sense. Where's that open window? Oh, I don't know. Out here is an open window, or both open windows. That's the garden. I want to go out to the roof first. So, is there any point climbing on top of this? Really, just for my own curiosity. Yeah. Well, I mean, maybe you can make that jump. If, if you're willing to be very risky. Oh. Yeah, it's possible. If we get it right just right, it could mantle the thing as a fall. Oh. It does seem Perhaps I might foolish. Uh. Oh. Alright, let's not try. There's gotta be a better way of doing that. <laughs> Slip fall potion, if you had one, sure, but uh... Now, here's another question. What if you were to try jumping from one of these to the next, to the next, to the next? And would they hide some ridiculous this is the garden out there though? Oh no, wait, the garden's through there. And there's definitely a place out there. I have a feeling it's a little too... Uh, too far, though. To, to reach. Yeah, I didn't make that. Alright. Just wondering if some ridiculous hidden places were around, but... Uh, but no. So we're going to need to come back here later for to let a demon out. I'm sure it won't cause any trouble. Ah, yeah, try not to do that. But there's this whole area way down below, like this, this whole cemetery. It's pretty... Lots of non-doors. 
Oh, it's extremely detailed for a uh, just a backdrop, but uh, maybe that's all it's meant to be. Off we go. How did we? Uh, wait. Is there any way? There isn't going to be any way out from here. I can't remember how we got to the garden, but I do remember it was not trivial. Or there's something. Um, wait, we came up here, didn't we? To get to the garden. Ah, I thought I'd knocked you all out. I shall still find thee, never fear. Now I've dealt with you. Sleeping, I guess, is the answer. All right. Oh, he was the one who was walking up down here, right? Okay. Hmm. If there's many hit points, there's no way you're going to be uh, actually getting out. So. I went, came across on that pipe, didn't I? Can I get back there, though? Seems unlikely. Okay. Alright. Well, this is, uh... Yes, I have been here. There's a gold plate in the sink. And a thing on the shelf between those bookends. There's the archer there we knocked out. Oh, and this is, we saw these from above. Two now, hello, what's that? Oh, I thought it was a wooden beam. No, it's just a strange chimney. All right, so now your mysterious note makes a little more sense. However, you there was insisting on something in exchange, right? Uh, quite a prize. Is there really no doubt? Well, there is some doubt, but you know, whatever. I let use my tools. You can sacrifice my poor Ukiki. Aha, that's the monkey. Right. The monkey head we got. Do what you're asked to do, but once he gives you his thanks, you have to bless the witch's cauldron. I see what happens next. Wait, what witch's cauldron? I have no idea. All right. Okay, that's the way to... 
the mincer. Um, well, we might as well gather all the ingredients first and then come back and do the job, I think. Now, there's a guard out here, if I remember correctly. Oh no, there's no room for a guard out here. There's someone in there. Oh, that's the mechanist inventor. Ah, oh, these windows, we saw them from the uh, cathedral. At this point, with uh, only one hit point, I'm I'm not going to spend a lot of time trying to ghost. Uh, it's already been oh, another hour already. Did I see some gold? Something gold here. Am I blind? Am I hallucinating? Standing here looking over there and I thought I saw oh I thought I saw a gold cup, it's just the the metal gear lock thing. Okay, we're gonna need the metal gear. That crazy fool hath fled with the gear to my workshop. How am I to befriend Garrett without the eye? Months of work will be lost. I'll begin work taking apart that lockbox tomorrow. A pox upon Vest, where hath he gone? Sometimes I think I can still hear his loud ramblings, but it's hard to tell with all the machinery ticking and whirring away. All right, well, that's where the clockwork eye that he made for Garrett is locked away. And sometimes you think you can hear his ramblings. Uh, oh. Okay. So when I said this is a building I hadn't been to, this uh, we're here now. Conveniently. Not that it helps me find the dust. Where, where does the dust live? That's a bunch of bills. No, this is the mechanist tower here. This is here. M. Or the K, right? Um. So he's supposed to be somewhere nearby. But I have no idea where. Unless. 
Let's use that uh, rambling Raoul. Well, we've got a lot of things to get done. was uh, the unfortunate result of trying to step out of a window. Strange noises. There! Oh. <sighs> because the distance to drop isn't quite far enough, it goes clank as it uncrouches. That's really awkward there. That all right. She so uncrouches before I finish falling. If I finish falling first, it would have been fine. Uh, have I been up there? Oh, I remember seeing it. I'm thinking mentally onto this might be a problem. That mantling onto there is fine. Which way is this facing? Is it east? Oh, I don't know which house it is. This one? Maybe? There's another butcher's right there. Huh? Got to stop jumping at nothing there. That's the top of the warehouse. Is this the other? I don't know. I'm trying to figure out where I am is always a mess. door, okay. Actually locked actual door. wasn't armed, I guess I could have left him. But I'm also impatient to get to a good stopping point. Oh well, it's just hour and 15 already. the same building. So, what, a whole new apartment building that looks the same as the other one? Well, there's a greenhouse. And some frame rate drops, but uh, that must be... Maybe that's where those magic grape seeds are. So this is east. So we haven't... Oh, and this... Do you see that? Antenna. But that's where we get the grease, right. There was, just before I go out there, this one is, there was an open window out here that looked 
Suspicious. That one there. Connell, you old fool, is he gonna get you killed? <laughs> um, absolutely gonna get you killed. But you came here and wondered why would you ever go here, and now you have an answer. Why this looked like a dead end. Oh dear. This must have been a pressure plate I stood on. Oh, I'm never going to do that again. All right. Including that rather dodgy mantling. Which I think was because of the... Uh, I was just trying to mantle and hitting the gargoyle there. But... I think we might have found... Where Mr. Gearman is hiding out. Rats fall and what? Just standing there? No, well, I guess I'm not going in that very easily. Oh, holy water. Mantle up. All right. It's really impossible with it. Are you Mr. Vagrant or whatever your name was? Bronze gear. That's what we need. He's got his own increased work workshop here. He's looking for a switch to turn the trap off, but I guess I don't need it. Or maybe that's it. Oh, they were using that, that pumping uh, model. Which was animating before and has now stopped. Uh, the model is supposed to be present everywhere in Thief 2 and there's something, I forget what it was, but it's a bug. But it never actually appears in the game. Ah oh dear, getting down from here though. Maybe getting across there is going to be easier than climbing down the rope, but climbing down the rope is the one that gets me to where I want to be. Let's try it. That's not successful. Let's do the old fire the rope in from up above. And you can sometimes grab onto it before you. There we are. Before you start to fall. Though. So, Alright. Um, you know what? 
I think I'm leaving the rope there. So we want to go out this way. Yeah, yeah, I don't think you'll find me. You didn't find me before. So now we have a whole new section of the city. The antenna and all. To go out to. But I think this is a really good place to end the episode. So, uh, let me make a hard save here. Thanks very much for watching, and I will see you here for the next episode when we go after the remaining two ingredients and the grape seeds and every, or every last bit of loot we can find in this eastern part of town. Thanks for watching.